Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentine Jr. and today we're going to be unboxing Motorized Carly the Crane, which is so exciting because I actually got the set with her in it and she is part of the actual top of the set. She's not motorized or even push along, so I'm very glad that I have a motorized version of her finally. I got her from Amazon. There are two other engines that I got from Amazon, which we'll be having an unboxing too. But yeah, so here we have Carly. On the front, you could see her. She's very big and boxy, which hopefully it does work inside of tunnels and stuff. Here she is on the back of the box. It is three plus, but I am 18, so. Let's get right into opening the box. Oh! She took a dive, but safely landed. Never mind. I forget what I painted her buffers on the toy version, the one that goes up and down but i'm gonna try to paint it the same color and i'm gonna paint this back piece too because it definitely deserves painting but she looks so cool i'm finally glad i got another new character in motorized along with kana i'm very excited for bruno i don't know if y'all seen the boxed version of bruno and percy but that got revealed but yeah here's her face this is the side the back which of course it's not painted but it's gonna be painted by moi. And we have her cart, which actually holds her crane. And this is a nice little flatbed to use for trains and stuff. As you can see, right on the top here, there's a hole that the crane goes on. Look, the crane is very short and stubby, unlike the one on the toy, but it does work. It does go back and forth. And it most definitely swivels around, so that's cool. Looks like we got a Harvey contender here. I love the little cart. It's red and it has yellow wheels. I'm gonna paint the buffers on this as well, but probably normal. So the buffers aren't painted on this too, but that's okay, because customizable things is always fun. We're gonna be unboxing Motorized Gordon, all engines go version. So I was very surprised to see the reveal of this engine. I didn't expect them to make Gordon in motorized version, just because i don't know it was very bizarre to me i didn't know if they could make a model of him but they wound up making a model of all engines go gordon <laughs> now reminder i do not like the show but i love the toys because they're so accurate and really nice so without further ado let's get to showing the engine so this is the front of the box it says three plus but i'm 18 so <laughs> and then we have his face on the back i don't know why i was so surprised when i seen the reveal of gordon and james just because i guess they're tender engines and i didn't expect the tender engines to have toys of them because they got switched into background characters let's get to opening him up now i did get this on amazon along with two other engines Let's get him out. His tender got left behind. Gordon takes a tumble. Oh, his tender looks so cool. Oh my gosh. It's very light, but it feels pretty good quality. And his coal is really nice too. I don't know why there's these divots. I don't like that. These divots. Mm. Other than that, it looks pretty nice. I will be painting the buffers, of course. And I like the new wheels that they have. It's so sleek. So let's look at Gordon. He still has his little divot on the back of his roof. And of course he has a leaning funnel, his front. His nose is kind of sticking out from his face. And he got his buffers still too, his oval buffers, which is amazing. These tiny cylinders. <laughs> and I'm guessing these are supposed to be wheels. I don't know what that is. But he looks so nice, look at him. I'm very excited to have him run with the other engines and interact with them. I am soon to be collecting all of them. <laughs> Comment below what you think about this Gordon. And I also have Carly, which I unboxed previously. Let's compare sizes. I think Carly's way taller. Oh, no. Um, I think she's about the same height. It's just that she's more boxy. I remember thinking that with Glenn, too, that I thought he would be way taller because he's boxy, but he wound up being the same height as everyone else. He's chunky, galloping sausage, galloping sausage. I wonder if you can tell what I'm unboxing, which character I'm unboxing by the lights. <laughs> We're unboxing Motorized All Engines Go James, which this is the third engine that I got from Amazon along with Carly and Gordon. Here we have James. I already kind of noticed some weird things about the engine. I hope it's not a factory error, but the black lining is all really faded. It's not like pristine black so i don't know i'll check out other people's videos and see if theirs is faded as well but 
This is my motorized James. Here he is in the packaging. We have his face on the back. And I guess we're just gonna get to unboxing him. So to be honest, I didn't realize that they were gonna make James and Gordon just because they're not main characters and I could have sworn that they were just gonna make like the main characters. <laughs> I didn't know how they were gonna make them in the toys, so. But here we have them in the toys, which is crazy. I wonder if they're gonna make Edward and Henry. <laughs> I feel like Edward's toy is gonna be really weird, especially with the new wheel configuration. But here we have James out of the packaging. We have the tender as well. The five is not centered at all. The five is a little bit more centered on this side, but the other side is so off-centered as printing. But I love his wheels. They went back to his like charcoal black wheels, the silver kind of looking ones. You could see it better on this tender. I always loved the color of those wheels, especially on Bachman James. But look at his dome, it's actually a different mold, unlike the Gordon. Gordon's dome is actually molded into his boiler. So for comparison, <laughs> James is definitely shorter, I think. But something I noticed that was crazy to me is the fact that James and Gordon's chassis don't have the actual coupling connected to it. So that means they're like exclusively for them. So if these got like battery leaks, I won't be able to just replace it with a different chassis because this is actually connected to the engine itself, not the actual like thing that you unscrew to put the batteries in. Gordon also has this as well. It's connected to his actual like body instead of the wheels. But yeah, this is James's side. Here's his face. His face is pretty big. <laughs> For some reason, his running board is completely flat and his wheel arches are painted with that. It's faded, I don't know if you could tell. Gordon's tender just flying here. And there's the back of him as well, which is kind of crazy. Obviously I will be painting the buffers <laughs> and the top of him, which this one has a divot. Gordon doesn't have this little snap off divot for some reason. This is supposed to be like a factory thing. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Comment below and tell me what you think about this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.